first I need to do the mirror. So I'm gonna get this uh, side right here, GX. Hold down control, delete the space, and then I can do the mirror and turn on screencast. All right, so now I can apply the mirror modifier. Whatever I do with this side, the other one follows as well. Okay, so uh, just kind of watch this along, all right? And I'm gonna be doing several cuts right here. The number of cuts is kind of important because you don't want this to be too complex. It's hard to control. Just like anything else in 3D, you wanna start at a very low polygon. So this is the front. I'm gonna do Control R or Edge loop, I'm going to do two cuts right here. So the front gets two cuts. Now I'm going to go to the side. Okay. The side vertical, it gets two vertical cuts. And it gets one horizontal cut eventually. Okay. All right. So let's kind of review. So the front gets two vertical cuts. The side gets two vertical cuts. And then one horizontal cut for the side, which goes to the front as well, of course. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my um, uh, transparency right here so I can select from front and back, so on and so forth, okay? I'm gonna start with a side viewport, go to my point mode, and I'm gonna start kind of getting the shape of a, of a head, right? So just selecting and pressing G right here, so I'm gonna push that right there. So you can already see there's a jaw part right here. This is gonna be the back of the head, okay? So I'm gonna kind of simplify that a little bit and position that in there, okay? Move this one here a little bit. It's kind of getting a basic head shape. All right, and again, of course, depends on your character. If you have a highly sty uh, stylized character, it would look a little bit different, okay? You will have to conform it based on that design. All right, so for now, that should be kind of fine. Can you see it though? Yeah. Or we're going with this, mm -hmm. okay? All right, now we're gonna go to the front. I'm gonna select all these points, front and back, okay? Except for the middle one. I'm actually gonna turn on my clipping right here, just to be safe, so that I don't accidentally move anything here left and right. So what I'll do here is scale this slightly, so I can start rounding it up. Then I change my selection, I decrease my selection, then scale that again, right? Do you see where it's forming? So yeah. if we keep going here, yeah. we're about to model Princess Leia, you know? <laughs> one more, uh, <laughs> so now one more scaling right here. And I'm going to move this back a little bit. I mean, move this in. All right. So now I'm going to start kind of shaping this. So I get my, again, head type deal. All right. There you go, maybe the back of the head right here can move back a little bit and move in a little bit. So for, uh, protrude the jaw, so let's take a look. Here we go, so quickly, we already have like at least humanoid, humanoid head shape right here. And we're going for a minimum here with the polygon, right? Uh, and you have to kind of resist adding lines that are unnecessary at this point because it'll, it'll add to the confusion. Uh, all right, it's kind of rounding it off. Maybe push those a little bit forward. Okay, there you go. Not a bad start for a generic shape. You can round off the back, uh, you know, some more later. And I need to stop right here. It's my OCD kicking in and it's just... <laughs> It will not let me, uh, okay, all right, okay, I'll stop right there. Okay, so now let's start adding all the other kind of components to this, okay? The knife tool. Where is the knife tool? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Okay, that's the knife tool right there. I'm not going to be using the tool. I want it active by pressing K so that I can uh, 
uh, have my selection after, right? The thing is, when you use any of these tools, you're always active with it, you know? I just want to invoke a tool and then be back to my select tool. So that's how I prepare it, okay? So I'm going to press K. Um, we can start here at the bottom, and we're not going to be uh, proper topology when we do this. There's going to be triangles, okay? It's just because we're just starting, and then we have to reroute and redirect all those points so that we can fix it later. Okay, so this is just kind of getting the basic shapes. All right, so I'm gonna start here at the bottom of the chin, press K, and you wanna be careful with this. You wanna make sure that whenever you click with the mouse, you're actually hitting an edge or a point, okay? So you're snapping to those because knife tool allows you to create edges even anywhere. So you want at least to have some sort of a pattern where you're clicking to points and edges and you're connecting somehow. All right, so now I'm creating the formation for a possible eye socket. All right, you guys see what I did there? Yeah. Just knifed mm -hmm. it all the way around. So we kind of look like uh, we're going for Deadpool or Spider-Man here already, right? So, <laughs> all right, so now this is not gonna be enough because um, once we bring those points in, you can kind of see where we're going with this. All right, you see it? Yeah. All right, so we created that kind of socket. So we need another loop here. I'm gonna press K again for knife. I'm gonna go over here and then just kind of trace this around. Uh, do I need to go there? Maybe not. I'm gonna go right here. So you can see we're no longer quads here. We got some weird stuff, right? That's fine. We are just trying to get the uh, the formation, okay? So I can go right here and then kind of start manipulating this. Here I go again with the OCD. So I, <laughs> the head needs to, uh, let's, it's trying to. All right, I'll stop, okay. So <laughs> right here, um, I'm gonna start kind of, for me, uh, kind of forming what a possible eye socket will be or eyelid. This is totally up to you, of course, uh, depending on your design, okay? And probably move that right here. Okay, so um, we can do another cut right here, but let's kind of simplify it for now, okay? So I'm just kind of forming it like so, and then I can do another cut so that I can create the nose part. All right, so any questions so far? Yeah, so what? Yes the cut around the eyeball socket for exactly this one right here yeah it's to have your eyebrow and to control this one because uh, without that line when you move this it will move it all the way from the top kind of like what we did with the um when i created the control r for the uh, pupil for the eye without creating that circle before we did a negative ex uh ex scale it'll pull everything from beyond it okay so this is basically a controller that keeps everything within this area. Because if I go like so, and I want to move this, if I didn't have that, it will move it all the way from the top. Okay. okay. All right, so let's create a possible nose for this. Yeah, I'm gonna press K right here. So this is gonna go right here and then, um, all right, so super simple. Okay, what I want from this is that I want to be able to protrude this like so and get that shape right away. All right, so if we go here. All right, it's not perfect, but it's the beginning of something. All right, then I can put a uh, press K right here to kind of trace it over here so I can kind of go like so. All right, and then have the eye secure its position. Let's 
start having uh, all right so it's still very uh, um, early right here we got triangles and whatnot so for the eye right here we can do a uh, select all these faces then press I or inset polygon and maybe do a little extrude right there just so that we can reset them a little bit. Okay, looks like Magneto, I think. Or the mask for 300. Okay, anyway, very angular, All right? Okay, so for the nose, we can just kind of leave it like this for now. We could, you can always do the more cutting right here, or more, um, actually, let me do that. More of the uh, uh, knife tool. And then because of that, you'll be able to uh, get more detail out of the nose. All right, so that uh, you, know, you can keep kind of tweaking until you're really happy with uh, Okay, all right, that should be good for now. Let me lower some of this, because that will be the cheek. All right, now let's uh, uh, create a mouth for this one. Okay, so I just want to run a line going all the way here. It stops right here because this is where we start getting the weird uh, cuts. Okay, so I just connect it manually using the knife tool. All right, didn't do all the way around because of uh, uh, we got non quads in here, uh, already. See it right there. Okay, so here I just go to the front to the knife tool and then kind of do a really simple mount. Oh, that looks so good. I think we're done. Just, <laughs> that's just happy. A little smirk. All right. So let's kind of fix that. It's kind of. I want to know how I got these scars. <laughs> he's the same thing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then we go to the side right here. We can start uh, kind of positioning those so it protrudes a little bit more. Okay. All right, and then we can do another knife tool to kind of go in a bit. All right, select the points inside. I'm just gonna pull this in so that we see the, the cavity right there. Show up a bit. All right, there's our simple kind of lip. Let's go here a bit and kind of fix this up. And I can do a control R, just all the way around. Kind of run that off a bit. Okay. All right. So this is where your OCD, depending on how bad it is, will get you. Because this will be that tweaking. Because remember, I'm modeling this without any reference, right? It's probably one of the worst things that you could do if you have OCD. <laughs> reforming, you know, you just without any sort of limit or guide. So until basically you're deciding until it looks good. Okay. All right. One more probably. I'm going to do another control R right here. Let's look at it on the side. So then I can take this part right here, kind of rotate it and then kind of round it off some more. You see what I did there? It's kind of mm -hmm. 
move that a little bit to so that it's not too angular. And then here, so that the chin is not too uh, chiseled. We could start softening it by simply just adding that line right there. And then kind of follow this formation right here. However, Quite a bit more tweaking, but I think that's a it's not a bad way to kind of start a character design from simply just using uh, simple tools like cuts. Okay, the thing here that you need to know is uh, is simplifying it first. Okay, that is crucial. How you simplify the model first or the design because you can always add the details later on and keep tweaking it. Imagine if you actually have a reference design in the back, it'll make this a lot easier because you'll ha you'll be tracing a shape, right? You uh, without, you know, just kind of guessing and whatnot. So probably one last cut right here, just another uh, knife tool probably need to do another line there later on. So now you can start de uh, defining at least the lower part of the lip. Okay. All right, well, as the saying goes, several hours of tweaking, then it will look like what you need it to look like. But I think this is not a bad way to kind of get started with just polygons, right? And the thing is, you guys can uh, watch this repeatedly, you know, until you could follow uh, getting uh, up to a certain point, okay? and then uh, add the lines, get to a certain point, so on and so forth, okay? But this is more on, uh, you have plans to do something a little bit more realistic with the object or with the model, okay? Um, this is probably overkill to do something for, let's say, uh, Animal Crossing type characters or amiibo type. Oh, well, there's some really complex amiibo, what am I talking about? Let's say this is stick to Animal Crossing, right? So, but even with Animal Crossing type characters, this is definitely something you could use, okay? And uh, this is a single object modeling, meaning you're probably better off with simplistic models simply using multiple shapes. You don't have to dig out an eye socket like this. You can just create lids and eyeballs that are separate from, from the object, right? Like the ear can be separate, eyebrows can 